Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Uh, today we've got Lord Windgrace and the Nature's Vengeance Lands Matter deck. Or Lands Kind of Matter. Sometimes you have Lands. Anyway, this is the one of the four decks from the latest offering of Commander Precon decks from Wizards. Just came out today. Do appreciate y'all watching. I'm doing an unboxing video for each of the decks. Uh, you've probably either already seen the others or seen the I'm just going through real quick. I will do a complete total set review once I get through with these, but let's face it, I have to unbox these bad boys first. So, let's do it. Oh, come on, Amina Tower. Don't fall. Okie dokie. Pop them jokers out. He can stand up there with, with the rest of the pals. Packaging out. Maybe one day we'll get a, a, uh, a commander product that's big enough to hold like the hundred sleeve cards, you know? I don't know. Well, what would we pay for that? Uh, I mean, really. Because Ultra Pro makes all of the sleeves, the deck boxes, and the playmat. What if they went together and like did a bundle package all together? To what would to where you had the 100, probably 110 sleeves, so that, you know, in case some split or whatever, and the deck box that would fit it and the play mat. What would, I don't know. Is that, I feel like that'd be a $100 thing. Anyway, we have Lord Wind Grace, which is everybody's pick to be the commander if you're going to do a deck based on the movie Black Panther. Because, let's face it, he is a Black Panther. He is probably the most badass Black Panther to ever walk Dominaire, anyway. And he goes really well with a lot of cards. I mean, a lot, lot of cards. Three colors. Pretty neat. Now, we have Jairus, Walker of Corpses. Now, this is a Hydra that just doesn't play. Three color spiders, anybody? No? Yeah? Uh, probably not. Probably not doing a spider tribe with this because it she doesn't really care about spiders per se. So what we do have these uh really cool dragon egg tokens. Of course, you know cat warrior tokens. And more tokens. Got the Lowell subordinate again, the Lowell apprentice. It looks like the you're going to get one of the loyals with each, one of the lieutenants of each color in the deck. So you're going to get that uncommon is what it looks like. Retreat to Hagra, stitch together. Good old all around card, acidic slime. It's one of those cards that we just always play with. You know, I mean, it's it's a good blocker. It pops up when it comes in. Bailoff Woodcrasher has some landfall. Explore, consign to dust, cultivate. So it looks like we're putting a lot of lands into play. Explore, evege. Whoa, that's a far wanderings. Love me some far wanderings. I like this because it says basic land and not forest. Now, a lot of those cards say forest, and yeah, you can go get your the fancy duels, as I, I call them, but. I don't, uh, I don't have a whole lot of those. Farhaven, Grapple, Harrow. I mean, we are looking for some landfall. Hunting Wilds, even. Colony Heart. Secure Tribe. Yavamai Il That is a whole bunch of land fetch. That looks like the bulk of what the green is. Meh. Drawing a card. Grizzly Savage. Putrefy. Putrefy is always a good card. that's a nice include since we've got so many lands i mean i i use it there's our soul ring and our one random basic land that is right before our new rares that's unique blood tracker 
Emissary of Grudges. Fear, another Commander Storm card. Isn't it called the Storm? Anyway. Nesting Dragon. That's the <laughs> the longest landfall ability I think I've ever read. That's funny. Reality Scramble. Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to drop that. I, I know that mic is two inches away from that. Crash of Rhino Beetles. I believe the original flavor text on Crash of Rhinos was love is short-sighted like a rhino. If it does not find a way, it will make a way. Why I remember that, I don't know. Turn Timber Sower, not bad. Another Hydra. Whoa, baby. In the long term, I think this is going to be the card of the set. I really do. It's, oh, man. It's really good. There's my girl right there, Sancha. I don't know. Really looking forward to building her, too. Soul of Innistra. Now, whoop. He wanted to fall. Avenger of Zendikar is a good card. I'm glad to have another copy of it. Moonlit Bargain. Runa's Path. Chain Reactions, also all, always good. Flame Blast. Bakota Gardener. Because, you know, 10 or more lands is not that hard to do. And then you start making giant tokens. That seems decent. Hey, that's what I was waiting on. Because that's the landfall ability that I don't know if it was just because it was a pre release card, but I used this a bunch. Or at least, you know, I like to. So I used them all up. Scoop Mob Charnel Horde Worm. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever connected with it. I've tried a couple times, but. Charnel Horde may sit in a binder for a while. Decimate, everybody's favorite one for four. It's pretty sweet. Gaze of Granite, another good. You might as well say board wipe, because you can. Yeah, that's nasty. Lava Lanch. Rubble Hulk. Hmm. Worms Harvest. Seeker Sundial. Grim Backwoods. Here's uh here's the three swamps pictures that they chose. And we've already seen the three mountains. Uh Avon didn't do any of them. And then there's one, two, three forests. Because there's only three arts of each. Obviously there's more forests in, in this particular deck, because it should be. There's our Forge of Heroes, like it's in every deck. Some duels. Cycling lands. E even the lands fetch lands. That's sexy. Bajookabog. It's my favorite land to bounce when I play a bounce land. I'm telling you. Command Towers. Evolving Wilds. Forgotten Cave. Check this out. It's another random swamp like in the middle of that. Girl Turf. On the finger after Panoramas. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one that uses Panoramas. Those are decent. Yeah, they're not crazy amazing, but I like them. And in a three-color deck, it's a little more expensive of evolving. Hollow Refuge, Colony Garden. Okay, I never would have thought I'd have seen a reprint of Mountain Valley or any of those cards because they were... Yes, you can go get your fancy lands. But odds are, if you're doing that, you're playing real fetches. I don't know. Myriad Landscape, I do know. I love this card. Okay. Hey, we got to bounce land for our Bajookabog. I'll be, I'd sure and tell mom about that. She loves Bajookabog. Temple of the False God. Another card that, you know, a lot of people say play, a lot of people say don't play. I tend to run it more of high casting cost and or colorless decks. Terramorphic. Glad to see that one. I'm running low on Terramorphics. And then, of course, our other formats. That is what I have got for Nature's Vengeance, the Lands Matter deck. Um, I guess we've got one left to do, don't we? So I will see you all back next time. For Estrid, but right now, 
I think it is time to shuffle and cut.